G'day everyone, so progress on the wedge, it's the uh, end of April, uh, about April 27th, 28th. Um, I've been um, just taking it slow because there's a lot of material there from to work through um, that I started with. Um, but um, you can see there, there's a red worm. There's more red worms in there. Um, there's more in there. There's a big patch of them. You can see trying to wriggle to get away. It's probably a blue worm by the way he moves in there. I've got a particular sort of inching um, way that they move. Um, so again, if you've um, not watched all the videos I've got before this one, there's uh, half a dozen odd videos showing you what the um, theory of uh, a wedge system is. Um, and on my website there's um, written information about the um, what the benefits of a, of a wedge is and, and what the... it's more of a commercial use um, system. Oh, that's a big patch of grass in there that hasn't rotten down. You'll probably find it hard to get into there. Um, but again, I didn't start this with a lot of adult worms. It's just what worms were in the um, in the grass piles that I fed it with. And then I've been dumping um, trays of um, cocoons in here, which would be uh, mostly African night crawler um, cocoons from their bedding trays from the breeding. You see lots of these little, I call them a witchetty grub, but I think they're like a mango beetle larvae. So you can see there's quite a few worms getting into the material now. Um, so, um, and I haven't fed this for about 10 days. And it's a little bit dry around the edges. I haven't haven't watered. I've been hoping it'd rain, um, but uh, I'm still temporarily covering it with just the. Um, I'm wrapping the uh, weed mat that I left on the sides um, around over it, and over the top of the um, fork that's there. I put that um, uh, that extra bit of shade cloth. Um, again, if you don't know my plans um, for this area, it's a concrete pad. Try and get a bit of distance so you can see. Um, I'm going to be putting a hoop house uh, with waterproof or laminated shade cloth over this, uh, possibly this weekend. Um, the uh, wedge systems work best with uh, a concrete base and a waterproof cover like a hoop house. Um, the idea behind that is um, uh, if you're doing it for castings or vermicompost, the uh, nutrients don't leach out of the piles um, into the ground um, and the uh, the waterproof cover protects it from leaching. Uh, if you were doing it uh, over uh, ground that needed uh, improving um, that'd be a different matter. You could, you could do it over the ground like in a paddock or something like that that you wanted to improve the uh, the structure of the soil and you could just uh, keep on moving the, the wedge um, over through the paddock. Um, again, go and if you haven't seen, go and have a look at the theory, the theory video that I started the series off with. Basically, um, this wedge could be a mile long that way, and we're feeding this face. Um, it'll always slope down either side. I've, I've just restrained it. Again, go look at the videos, but I've restrained it with some pallets um, around the perimeter, um, so it doesn't go up against my good new metal fence there. Um, but uh, literally it could be a mile along that way um, out away from us and we're always feeding the slope so um, today I'll put uh, some more grass clippings across I've got some um, stuff here that came in uh, a couple of weeks ago um, it's mostly dry I'll probably bring a bit of green stuff um, in uh, on the weekend because um, I want to try and feed it a bit of a balance between um, uh, green material and brown material so the, the green fresh grass is, is your nitrogen rich material and, and your dried grass you, you can see there and probably hear it um, and, and you can see there just how dry that material is. It's more like um, straw or um, 
not like hay, hay's good stuff, but it's more like a, a sort of straw product. Um, that'll be more uh, carbon than nitrogen. But anyway, so I'll uh, put a bit of uh, more, another layer of um, uh, dry grass here on the top, and then I'll um, give it a water with the hose there, you can hear in the background I've got ready. And uh, so that's the update for the wedge. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys.